Good evening, everyone. I'm Brian Allen. I'm Andrea Anderson. Founded in 1993, the Sioux Falls Canaries may have a storied history. It hasn't always been great, though. This year, the team was able to accomplish something they've never done before. Cornell Wright was at their last regular season game of the year today, and he brings us our top story. That was something we talked about at the beginning of the year, that, that we'd never been to back-to-back -back playoffs. Now they've gotten the monkey off their back and headed to the playoffs as the two seed in the West. To be able to put it all together in the second half last year, knowing that we were better than just the second half team last year, that we had something for, to move forward with, uh, and to be able to get it done this year was pretty special. And there's a lot of credit to throw around. The new ownership has done a fantastic job out here. All those guys have done great. The mindset of our ownership group when, when they took over was to create a winner on and off the field. And, and we've done some great things in the community. We think that we have a better presence than we've ever had. I feel like it's because of the fans, because they're always coming out showing us support. And every time it's a packed house, we play really well. So I give it to the fans for us getting us up and having a great couple of years. The fans have really showed out this year as well, with the best crowd the Birdcage has seen in several years last Friday, with over 4,200 in attendance. Winning is uh, a really good thing around here, and we know that the city of Sioux Falls and the surrounding area really like winners, uh, and so we're, we're excited to see where this is going. Let's go, Birds! While winning has been good for turnout, some fans have stuck with the team through thick and thin. Season ticket holder since 93. I think I'm one of the only ones left standing. Over 30 years of support came with eight straight years of being at the bottom of the standings. You know, so many years we would come out here and go, well, how bad is it going to be tonight, you know? Made a playoffs last year, which is a welcome relief after a lot of barren years. Well, you could feel everyone I spoke with had excitement about the back-to-back, -back, you also got the feeling that the job's not finished. We're not just satisfied with getting in. We want to make some noise in the playoffs. And, you know, we're not super happy that Winnipeg picked us as, as the team that, that we're going to, that they wanted to play against. We've been in the same situation, got a little taste of it. But now that we had a little taste, now we know what can get us over the hump and into the second round, and hopefully to the finals. I will definitely be here Wednesday. Wouldn't miss that for the world. In Sioux Falls, Cordell Wright, Dakota News Network.